My name is Jennifer Waisaki and I am the founder of The Girls Outdoors. We are in Atlanta, Georgia. And The Girls Outdoors is um, certainly a project from the heart. It is um, my mission in life. Um, definitely a divine appointment for me. Um, how it came to be, uh, many, many years of growing up, loving the outdoors. I was born and raised on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, when it was just a drawbridge and a Hardee's. And um, we grew up waiting on the shrimp boats and bringing in the crabs and um, everything revolved around the family dinner table. When um, I'm one of six children and uh, big family, big loving family that loves to eat together, play together and be outside together. I had a hunting, fishing, and cooking show for many years, and it was all based around gathering the ingredients in nature. So we would go out um, hog hunting or um, tuna fishing or um, anything, harpooning gators, duck hunting, goose hunting, deer, rabbits, snakes. <laughs> I don't really like snakes, but... Um, we did everything, and then we would take it to a five-star restaurant and cook it up. Um, when the show was over, uh, Katrina hit not too long after that. And I was um, very immersed um, in New Orleans culture and cuisine, um, and very close to um, so many people in New Orleans that lost absolutely everything. And um, I needed to get there and do something. So I just tried to see if I could go to New Orleans and move two by fours or clean up or whatever. And it was actually very difficult to get into New Orleans um, after the storm. So I found a connection through the President of the United States and I ended up going um, to work press advance. And um, I would wrangle CNN crews or whomever and then in the evenings I would have dinner with my friends and just try and pretend that things were normal. We left New Orleans three weeks later and it was probably that moment that aha um, where I said life can never be the same. I have got to do something with all of my blessings. Um, I have got to make a difference during my time here. And what is it that I need to do? So um, I just decided to kind of go down the road of what is it that I loved the most in my life. And I love being outside more than anything in the world. I just want to be outside. I want, it doesn't matter what I'm doing. I could be swimming in the river, swimming in the ocean, hiking um, through the woods, rabbit hunting, shooting skeet, um, pulling up marlin, you name it, anything, literally anything, I'll do it. Um, I'll even grab an alligator, <laughs> which, I, which I did recently and it was fun. I thought, well, how can I take the passion for the outdoors and my ability to turn educational and entertaining programming and share that with um, mostly women and children that could make that happen for their families too? And that's when The Girls Outdoors was born. My grandfather once said to me, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And... Uh, when I'm out there doing this, it just feels so good to not have to work for a living. And it makes you want to use your time wisely. And the best way to do that is to share. Um, we want to be the home for anybody and everybody to learn how to get back outside. I think the most important thing to me is that if you're going to sit on the sofa and watch television or dial us up on the web, I need to empower you with the capability to get out there and do. And I really think that in this day and age with the economy being what it is, um, nature is free. These activities are um, all over the place 
and uh, they're so fun and it's so fun to take your whole family out there and gather the ingredients and bring it back to the family dinner table. At least I think so. If not me, then who? Um, I don't necessarily think that um, I'm unique in my capabilities. I'm, I'm strong because I choose to be. Um, I'm extremely faith-based. Um, everything that I do is based on my relationship with God. Um, why me? <laughs> oh, sometimes I ask myself that <laughs> because it's not, it's not easy um, chasing dreams. And, uh, but when you know, you know. Um, I know this is what I'm supposed to do with my life. So I do it. It's not much deeper than that. Did I talk to anybody before I liquidated, maxed out the credit cards and went for it? No way. <laughs> they probably would have said, you're crazy. Um, no way except for family. Uh, I, I'm one of six kids. I have a very strong family. It's another reason why me. Um, I have been very blessed with a family that at the end of the day, if it all falls apart and I'm completely broke and I sell absolutely everything and pay off the effort, um, I'll always have a place to go. This is, this is a mission. This is a life purpose. This is, uh, this is a goal of goals. And, uh, you know, if we could find out that one day we were responsible in one year's time for bringing 400 families out on the open ocean to catch tuna in the rigs all night and eat tuna steaks, I mean, you know, if, if I were to open up the Girls Outdoors Facebook page and hear from 20 families that they had just gone on their first duck hunt, that would be quite a reward. So that's why we do it. I just had one deal breaker in my life. I never wanted to have to brush my teeth and look in the mirror and say, if only I had given it my all. And I'll never have to do that. We have, uh, we have given it our all and we continue to give it our all. And I look very forward to seeing the future of the girls outdoors and where we go. Our goal would be to bring the mission of enjoying nature um, and cooking it up at the family dinner table for every person out there that wants to play. And who doesn't want to play? I, you know, I don't fault people who think to do these things and don't make it. It's, um, it is so not easy to be a dreamer. And at the end of, uh, you know, these are happy tears though because I am a dreamer. But at the end of the day, it is so 